Got some shocking news to report now. A news site suspending three staffers for reporting on an Obama plot to sabotage Donald Trump. Not good news. Jack Davis for Western Journalism reports that three staffers of the Independent Journal Review, it's a website that I frequent, uh, they've now been suspended over what they're calling a conspiracy theory that was first published by the conservative news site and then later retracted. The alleged, quote, conspiracy suggests a nebulous but nefarious connection between former President Barack Obama's visit to his home state of Hawaii only a few days before an Obama-appointed federal judge issued a ruling blocking the implementation of President Donald Trump's executive order on immigration and travel. We actually, we actually reported on that story here. And I think it's important that journalists raise these kinds of questions and draw these, and draw these connections between key players on the world stage. Because if you don't ask these questions, if you don't present this information, how are people ever going to be able to get to the truth of the matter? Okay? I think it's absolutely plausible, absolutely, that Obama met with that judge and worked with him or subtly suggested to him to overturn Trump's uh, travel pause. Now, they state here, and it's unfortunate that, that the Independent Journal Review would go ahead and, and let these people go over something that I think is a journalistic responsibility, but they're calling it a conspiracy theory. I hate this stuff. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, they continue here that the, uh, quote, uh, the initial version of the story pointed out all of the possible connections between Obama and Judge Derek Watson. A later, ad, a later version added a note reading, quote, the story has been updated to remove unnecessary speculation about the timing of the visit. We apologize for any, uh, any undue conclusions that may have been drawn from the report. Okay, so it's, you can't speculate, you can't theorize when you're reporting anymore. You can't present facts and say, well, these are, this, this is, these are absolute possibilities and work your story backwards from that. No, I guess you can't anymore. They write, they write here that later the story was completely pulled. Uh, they also state that the website Business Insider broke the story of the suspicions and published a statement from the Independent Journal Review founder Alex Scatel. Quote, we are committed to an editorial team that includes voices, perspectives, and geographies that span the country, but equally committed to quality standards in our newsroom as we've grown. So we've, thought, we've sought to improve on that front, and last month we launched our six-person editorial operations team along with enforcement and review for all editorial content. Okay. So now you've got a, a censorship board that doesn't allow independent, independent thought or perspective. You see, what does it say here? Um, includes we're committed to an editorial team that includes voices, perspectives, and geographies. What the what geographies? Really? But you can't present a perspective that revolves around the nexus of a former president and and a, and a, and a not a Supreme Court judge, but a judge who just ruled against Trump. And then you let these guys go. Shame on you guys. Uh, they said last week we got it wrong and ultimately deserve all the criticism if we want to be taken seriously. As a result of last week's failure, Kyle Becker has been suspended indefinitely as well as his supervisor and chief content officer Benny Johnson and the content editor approving of the post, Becca Lauer. We're reviewing all the details to determine if further action is necessary. This ultimately falls on me to get it right, and we have to do better in the future. That was a statement to the Business Insider. Uh, who reported that Joe Perticone, who had been the congressional reporter for the IJR, served his severed his association with the site over the post. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, you guys all triggered over there because someone re asked a question? Because someone realized that Obama was, was right there at the same time? Oh, come on. They're right here. A cloud is now hanging over IJR. It's coming at a time when the site's White House reporter, Aaron McPike, was the only reporter invited to travel with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson during an, his Asian visit. Anyway, um, I don't. I, I think this was the wrong move by them. Um, but hey, you can't have perspectives, right? No opinions. Don't draw any conclusions. Don't speculate. 
Don't point out the fact that Obama was there right before the whole thing went down, before they threw out the executive order, before his, his buddy, his classmate, right? The judge was his classmate. Don't talk about it. Hmm. Just suspend these guys indefinitely. That's sad. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Real quick, before we go, I need you to know about a product that I'm taking, a product that I love, a product that my family takes. It is GetTheTea.com. Life Change Tea. Lose weight. Cleanse from toxins. This stuff you take a couple tea bags, you boil it, you make the uh, concentrate, and then you put it in the, uh, in the water. Drink about eight ounces a day, and this stuff will change your life. It'll clean out your system, get you regular. And not only that, but they've also got these other great products here. They've got nice and advanced. They've got essential B vitamins, olive leaf extracts. This is great for your, uh, this one, xanthium, great for your eyes. Liquid vitamin C, drop it under the tongue. Get a, get a blast of vitamin C. Keep yourself healthy. These things we need to have in our bodies so that we can continue to keep up the good fight. If we are not healthy, we cannot continue to spread liberty and spread freedom and, and remain um, strong. So go to the website. This is stuff I take every single day religiously. GetTheTea.com is where you can get it. So I'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.